Space Station 14 is a game filled with various types of acronyms, nomenclature, and otherwise phrases that are not intuitive and may be unclear to a player. Now, every game out there does have its own nomenclature and own things to learn, so I will discuss the various acronyms and phrases that are fitting to this game. I'll start with probably the most common one, SSD. What is SSD? You'll see it typed like that, and you'll sometimes see it typed out. I don't know what its exact meaning is, I don't think anyone does, but SSD directly just means AFK there, not there. I've seen people call it sudden sleep disorder, or space sleep disorder, or various other things like that. Uh, I don't know what the real origin is, and there must not be one because I haven't seen anyone. I, there's, I, see all, I see different variations of it all the time. There's a few ways to tell somebody's AFK. Um, you try talking to them, they don't talk back. They're probably SSD. If you shift click them and you see yellow text here, not purple, yellow text means they are just disconnected if they are, well, alive and standing. This goes into the next term. People often refer to catatonic players like this with the purple text as either catatonic or they'll sometimes call them brain dead. And what that means is that this player, even if they come back, if they are still playing the game, they can't re. They can't re enter their body this person th this is just a empty flesh bag there is no player associated to this type of text anymore that is what catatonic or brain dead means robust is a term that is often used in well various different ways it is also a term that i feel like lacks meaning a lot of the time the most general usage of the term robust is describing a player who is good at the game whether they be good at combat that's Pretty much the most common version of it is like, if somebody's extraordinarily good at combat in this game, people go, man, I got robusted, or this guy is robust. Something like that. Uh, it's pretty easy to learn. It It's a term that gets overused, so I think it's lost meaning because of that. But either way, robust basically means good. Valid. Valid is a term that's often used for a person who is valid to be killed. They are valid to be hunted. Valid to be arrested. Valid to you directly interact with them in a way that involves combat or being confrontational. There's many ways to be valid in this game. Uh, I, this is the most extreme example of somebody wearing the Blood Red Syndicate Nuki hard suit. Because it is an extraordinarily dangerous hard suit. It makes you very protective against bullets and all sorts of damage. And it is a clear sign that the person wearing it is... Probably 99% chance an enemy of you, or an ally, depending on your scenario. That is what valid means. A valid hunter. A valid hunter is more or less somebody who's playing the win. They're not really interested in role playing. They are primarily looking to find these guys. They're they're looking to find the bad guy, and they don't always care if you're obvious. They will do stupid things like try to like bait you into like attacking them. They'll try. Overall, just creating a more of a negative experience. Um, security sometimes gets referred to as valid hunting, but it's pretty hard to justify calling security valid hunters because their overall goal is to protect the station. Uh, some security members do get really into wanting to win and catch every syndicate. So even then, the term valid hunter can sometimes be used for that. The term valid hunter is also used for people who are just like actively trying to be the heroes of the station. Like, a botanist or a chef should really not be in space looking for the Nukies. It's a little overdone, but mo the, mo the most popular servers are a low role play, so there's exceptions to this type of thing. Especially for Nukies, but overall, Valid Hunter is basically somebody playing the win with less interest in role playing. AA. AA means all access. And the way to get all access is you must get permission from the captain or a hop who has all access to give you all access. All access really just refers to having an ID card that can open every single door on the station regardless of where it goes. And that one's pretty self-explanatory. The gods, or sometimes referred to as central command, is the in-character way of describing admin intervention. Somebody ever spontaneously catches on fire and turns into ash right in front of you after they just did something really stupid, or an item appears miraculously in front of you, but after you prayed for it, that's the gods or central command. 
you do not want to refer to admins as admins in game because well that takes people out of it and there are no admins in space station you're working on a station there's no such thing as an admin so it's more fun and more in character to just reference that the gods are helping you or a central command depending on the situation nukies are referring to the antagonist nuclear operatives Nuclear operatives are people who wear blood red hard suits most often and have very powerful weaponry. There's typically a group of them. Sometimes there's only one, which is referred to as a lone op, but that's uh, oh, just a lone nuclear operative, so it kind of ties together in the same phrase. Um, there's normally multiple of them. Their goal is to detonate the station nuke or use their own nuke to blow you up. They need to get the nuclear disc from the captain, and they're very noticeable because they're going to be running down the hall shooting everyone, and that is what a nuki is. Cindy, Tater, Trader, or Tot are all to refer to the syndicate agents of the game. They are the game's main antagonists as of right now, and they can look like anyone, have basically any type of gear, and be doing basically anything. They're meant to be undercover, or they can go loud, or you might never figure out somebody's a syndicate agent at all. They are just the main bad guys of the game. PC. PC refers to telecrystals. They are these red crystals that is the currency for both nuclear operatives and syndicate agents. You need these telecrystals in order to purchase their own gear used to do whatever the gear is designed to do. Um, people almost always refer to it as TC because that's a lot faster to type out than telecrystals and it's just easier to remember. This is a longer list so bear with me and I'll do it rapidly. The cap is the captain of the station. They typically will look something like this, and people refer to him as the Cap because it's easier to say than Captain. QM. QM stands for Quartermaster. They are the head of cargo and salvage. They typically don't leave cargo all that often, and this is their starting uniform. The HOS, or the head of security, as well, the head of security. The HOP. The HOP stands for Head of Personnel. They are going to be the ones that change your ID to give you basic access to departments, including their own department, which is service. They are the head of service. Op can also be found in areas like this. They are labeled at, like the head sign is often usually uh, used for the hops office. So the hops office is going to be determined by uh, these queues, a window, and you'll see an ID computer uh, inside. And there's typically Ian, if Ian is still alive. C. CE is the chief engineer. He is the head of engineering and atmospheric, and he will typically not look like this. He'll normally be wearing his hard suit and his sick J's, but that is the CE. CMO is the chief medical officer. They are the head of medical and the head of chemistry. They run the department, and you'll often see them inside healing people. Ardi. Ardi is the research director. The research director is the head of science. They will be You'll, you'll, you'll usually see them running around the station. They have to deal with anomalies, they have to deal with dangerous artifacts, and they have to deliver parts to a lot of different departments. And that is all of the command roles in the game and their acronyms. Insoles. Insoles refer to insulated gloves. They let you hack doors, they prevent you from getting shocked from electric grills, and they prevent you from getting shocked from electric doors. And this coincides with the term shocked. The term shocked is used for The term shocked is used to describe things like doors that have had their power wire cut or grills that have power cables running into them. So if you see, if I run into this grill, it'll spark and it didn't hurt me because I had my insoles on. Gray, gray tider, gray tide is used to typically refer to people who are passengers wearing their gray jumpsuit who are running around typically causing trouble in terms of like breaking lights or stealing basic things from departments. They're more so of a nuisance. Um, this is again another term that has definitely lost meaning over time. Um, this is a term that has been used in Space Station 13 as far as I'm aware for probably decades by now and uh, I think it's lost translation over time. It's often used to describe people who aren't even greys but people can use the term uh, grey titer for like people acting out of character in their roles. Like if an engineer is running around breaking lights, sometimes they'll be referred to as gray tiding and uh, other things like that. Otherwise though, it's mainly a negative association with behavior. Shit sec. Shit sec is a term that also has lost a lot of meaning due to its hilarious overuse. 
Shitsec can refer from anywhere from a security officer wordlessly gunning down the clown for doing nothing, to a security officer actively stopping a nuclear operator from killing everyone. Typically, it's used by people who are upset at security, whether it's valid or not. I'd say it's really lost meaning. It, if anything, deters security players from wanting to play, especially the good ones. And uh, I, I don't use this term. I think it's a stupid term. And I would advise you not to use the term. I think this is another one of those terms that was more fitting maybe for Space Station 13, but it's really disheartening. And just overall, it's it's kind of a meaningless word. A tool belt. This is one that I'm including because I was really confused about this when I was new to the game. A tool belt refers to a utility belt that has a full set of tools and typically has a multi-tool on it because a multi-tool is needed to hack doors. Uh, engineers automatically spawn with full utility belts, but people will often come to engineering or cargo asking for a belt. And what they want is they want the utility belt, which you have to craft with cloth and steel. And engineers actually do have ex access to extra tools, including the multi-tool. So this is why people sometimes go to engineering directly to get it, because it's less effort for them. Also, uh, engineers normally have 6 to 12 extra insulated gloves. So it's a one-stop shop for people who want a tool belt with gloves. Evac. Evac refers to where the emergency shuttle will arrive to the station. There are often signs pointing to it, and as of right now in the game, all of the evac areas will look the same. All the evac areas must have airlocks in this exact configuration. They also typically are just longer hallways with seats to sit down and wait, and when the emergency shuttle arrives, it will dock right here, and the game will tell you what direction to go. Arrivals refers to the area where you will arrive if you late join on the shuttle. <laughs> Arrivals docks also have a specific layout that must look like this in order for them to arrive. Sometimes there will be a docking arm on the other side, kind of like a U shape. And yes, the shuttle will leave if, without you. So you uh, want to get off of the shuttle and get to Arrivals. Arrivals is worth specifying because you're not supposed to mess with arrivals. I mean, if you're an antagonist, you don't want to prevent people from being able to join the round because you have to get off the ship. So if you destroy the area around arrivals, you're basically making it so players who are late to the game can't really play the game. Permadead. Permadead refers to a dead person who has yellow text. His soul has departed and moved on. Any recovery is unlikely. If this text is not read, the person cannot be recovered. They mean, this means that the person who is dead has no connection to their body anymore, and that this body is just a body. There is no soul attached, a player cannot rejoin this body. If it is red, that means they are just dead and can be saved. Emagging, or emag, refers to the cryptographic sequencer, the iconic emag, and it is typically associated with the term of zapping a door. When you emag a door, it will lose power and bolt. When you emag a door, it will bolt open, meaning that it becomes open to everyone. However, if the door gets fixed, it will still be an all-access door. As you can see, the door is fixed, but not really. It remains a all-access door that anyone can open and close, and you cannot fix this. It will always be an all-access door after getting emagged. OOC and LOOC. Those are just terms to describe out-of-character chat and local out-of-character chat. And what that is, is in the top right, while the round's going, you only have access to LOOC, which lets you talk out of character, so you get to say hi or whatever, I mean, that's not really good for LOOC. And OOC is only on when the round is over, so LOOC is the more important of the two. Crit refers to a state where you are not quite dead, but you are incapacitated on the ground, meaning you're gasping for breath and you need somebody to either save you or you will eventually die from asphyxiation and your wounds. The game on the right will also have a flatline EKG representation and you will have a flashing symbol that just says crit. AOS. AOS refers to arrest on site. It is used for when somebody needs to be arrested by security immediately, normally because they either escape from security, escape to search, or are in general just wanted. There's also KOS, but that one's not exactly... Uh, that one's a bit more known and often uh, not really used in this game. Apologies for the noise on this one, but... The singular refers to the gravitational singularity, which produces a lot of power. 
typically it will stay contained. However, if it grows too large, it will eat its containment and become what is called a Singulus. That's by far the scariest words you'll ever hear in this game, because uh, when it starts turning that color, you are... If you even see it, you're most likely dead. And the Singulus is a pretty iconic term for Space Station, and uh, once you see it once, you'll be praying to Lord Singuloth. I'm sure there's other terms I have just neglected because I played this game for so long now. I'm sure there's certain things I've just forgotten. I included all the terms that were mentioned in the comments I got. Uh, if you just have any questions about specific nomenclature or acronyms, just leave a comment. Somebody will answer you or I'll answer you. Uh, I just want everyone to understand the communication behind the game in order to be able to communicate more efficiently. Yeah, that's uh, basically it for now. Thank you for watching.